Hey, so I've got a couple people here with me. You've been very quiet and patient so far. It's kind of funny because sometimes I'm, I feel like I'm Tom and you're Ayaz and you're Sarah because this looks like the <laughs> TNT set, but it's all different now. Uh, Liz and John, hi. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our little show. Now, I know that the two of you are sort of, sort of teaming up. Liz, you've got part of a review that John... You, you've you sort of got the other two parts of the review. So, Liz, I don't know. Do you want to start with the, your your Beats by Dre collection here? I, you gave me a little nod, so yeah. Okay. Sure. I guess. <laughs> so, this is, a, this is a speaker. Yes. This is the Dr. Dre Beats pill. And I actually got the red, which is very fashionable, stylish, and... They actually call it a pill. Yeah, they do. Literally okay. call it a pill. All right. <laughs> And it comes in black and red and white and oh, white's nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, and a little a one. little USA type of a thing. That is new. <laughs> and, yeah. So the big thing about this is design. It's beautiful. It's very compact. It's sleek, and I had so many issues with it. <laughs> so what kind of it, like with sound or what were the issues? Well, first of all, when you think Dr. Dre, you think of rap music, bass, sure. you know, all that good stuff, and. He, Anything that has some bass on this does not sound good. Mm. It sounds tingy, you go too high, you just kind of get this kind of, you know, metal noise and it's just, it just, it saddened me. <laughs> it really now, is. It, is it when you, when you turn it up too high, the volume isn't there or is it just happening at any volume? Well, if I took different songs that didn't have bass and did the same volume, then I didn't get that tingy noise. Uh -huh. So it's just things where if it just had a lot of bass, it just didn't sound that good. And I would compare it to a jam box. I would actually take... You know, my iPhone, play the same song, you know, turn this off and turn that one on and switch it back and mm -hmm. forth, same volume. And I didn't have that same issue, which a lot of reviews actually said they, a lot of bass, you're not going to get the best quality out of it, unfortunately. Mm. All right. Well, that's, yeah, that's, you think Beats by Dre. Yeah. That's, it's like, yeah, I'm going to do this and Dr. Dre's going to sound awesome on Dr. Dre, but no. <laughs> yes. And not to mention, it does have a lot of great Android features, but not as much iPhone features, which... I couldn't tell by the boxing. It has NFC connections. It has Apartment X technology, which is supposed to make the sound quality much better. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of that on an iPhone, but none of that says it on the boxing. You know, great Android features. You know, this is why I want, this is your speaker for your phone. So I was, I was surprised to find that out too. <laughs> So it seems like, yeah, if you read the speaker or you, or you read the box, rather, that the speaker comes in, the little pill comes in, you get a, basically a good indication of, oh, this maybe would be good for my Android friends because yeah. they can use this functionality that I just won't be able to take advantage of. Exactly. Yeah. Now, of course, a, a lot of that stuff might come to the iPhone eventually, but yes. you don't really want to buy a product hoping that your no. your, your, <laughs> your, your, prove, or your chosen I, uh, iOS uh, uh, phone is going to catch up. Yeah, no. So I, it was, it's a beautiful design and I really wanted it to be great because I love my Jambox. I love my turtle shell and this one just sleek and it definitely competes with the Jambox style mm -hmm. and what it's going for. Just the quality, just, it saddened me. <laughs> now, how, how much is the, uh, the Beats pill? Well, this is $199 uh -huh. and then the Jambox is there only $135 now. So it's a little pricey on that part too. Why do you think that it's more? Because the Jambox actually gets really great reviews. Um, People love the new, Jambox. Just came out new and it's supposed to be that whole stylistic thing. Oh, uh -huh. it has loud sound and all this stuff. It's a new big thing that Dr. Dre did, but it it's not living up in my expectations. So maybe it's a, you know, celebrity endorsed type of a thing. Yeah. So you, you, you want it to be something and it turns out that it isn't. No, well, not, not the first all, time that we've heard things like that. <laughs> all right, so the Beats pill. I mean, I have to I have to say, it's, it sounds, I, I feel like I know yeah. what your review is going to end with. It's going to be a don't, oh, I'm going to say a don't buy for an iOS user, mm -hmm. but maybe for an Android user, maybe this is, works really great with the NFC pairing and the apartment X technology does really make the sound that great, but as an iOS, I would say don't buy. All right. Don't buy from Liz Romero. That is, we got a couple of don't buys on the show. Maybe we'll turn this around. John <laughs> Slanina, a.k.a. Jammer B., you are also reviewing the Beats uh, executive headphones. Is that what they're called? Executive noise canceling headphones. Oh, yes. Um, I really like these oh you good do. hey yeah. our luck is changing yeah so they're very nice looking headphones and uh they sound really good um they 
have a really balanced sound. I was expecting maybe they'd be heavier in the low end, but the sound was just really good, uh, sweet throughout the spectrum. Maybe not as uh, wide a frequency range, the highest highs and the lowest lows that you might get with some more uh, um, audiophile type headphones, mm -hmm. but these are noise canceling headphones. So for noise canceling headphones, these sounded really good. They are certain applications you would use noise canceling headphones for i wouldn't necessarily use them for um listening to podcasts there is a certain hiss you get mm. when you first turn them on you can hear the noise canceling and there is a, some noise canceling noise but heavy music seems to cover that up pretty well and like i say i listened to them for hours and hours and enjoyed them quite a bit and they were very comfortable so other than the having very specific application loud you know rock kind of music i don't know that i would enjoy them as much with light classical music because then the hiss of the noise cancellation might become apparent i did try the noise cancellation out in the loading dock with our air compressor i used to pump up the balls uh -huh. and it was it's very loud. effective it was amazing while i was listening to loud music i turned on the air compressor and i could feel it you know, it shakes the floor and it shakes the ball, but I couldn't hear it. So the noise canceling part of these headphones is really good. There is a problem, though, when you have noise canceling headphones is you have to turn them on. Right. And they take batteries. Mm -hmm. And after listening to a bunch of music, I took them off one night and forgot to turn them off. So... What do they take? Like a couple triple A's? Yeah, no, or? two double A's. They take two double A's, and if you leave them on overnight, don't use them. you got to put fresh batteries in the next right. day. So so that is one issue. Also, if, you, um, if, you, if you're adjusting them, if you touch them, then the noise cancellation says, oh, what was that? And it, it takes it a couple of seconds to level out again. So it's, it's a strange thing that happens when you actually touch them. Um, now there isn't uh, some sort of just on and off switch there is an on and off switch and unfortunately oh. when you turn them off uh -huh. they don't work at all yeah there's no separate turn the noise cancellation part off um but if you are going to use them like on an airplane or in a noisy environment and you're listening to loud music as opposed to a spoken word uh i think they're really good um they're pricey but they're not unusually priced for noise cancellation headphones, especially ones that sound really good. Um, $299.95, at least on the website. Yeah, $300. Okay. So my pros with these are the fact that they sound good and that they're very comfortable and that the noise cancellation works really well. Um, the cons are uh, batteries. And if you forget to turn it off, you have to replace the batteries. It comes with two cables. Uh, this is the regular cable just for listening to music. It has a cable for using with uh, your iPhone or other phone that has the microphone switch that only worked partway for me. Uh, people could hear me. I couldn't hear them. I don't know if it's a problem with this particular cable, so I'm not really happy with using it as a, uh, a phone headphone and microphone, but as headphones for listening to music, I, I enjoyed them quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So that's... The Dr. Dre uh, exe uh, Beats Executive Noise Canceling Headphones. As a treat, I have a second review. All right. I have the RHA RH um, earbuds. Now, these are noise isolating earbuds. They don't have any active noise cancellation circuitry in them. Um, and I enjoyed these also. Of course, they're not going to sound nearly as good as the um, uh, headphones, but they do sound really good for what they are. They don't have a good low end, but you wouldn't expect earbuds like this to have a good low end. But for listening to podcasts, these are pretty good. And they, they do, because they fit in your ears, they do have uh, pretty good isolation. Mm -hmm. The thing about these that is quite different from the Dr. Dre's is the phone calls I made with their microphone and the switch that the microphone has, uh, I could hear very well and people could hear me very well. So these also work very well as a headset for uh, iPhone. Um, and other earbuds that I've used, when you touch the cable, they tend to, the, the noise seems to be transmitted up until the earbuds. These have this anti-tangle cable 
also the uh, they're kind of it's quiet. I'm not hearing all the noise that I other earbuds when mm-hmm. I'm touching the cable. I hear a lot of noise, so I, I like the fact that they've engineered that out of them. They got the little they got the little rubber guys at the at the edge too. Did you find uh, it comfortable? These, I mean, for, along with the noise isolation, because yeah, I always the, have problems with those in ear. These are the ones earbuds. that came with it, and they do they they fit me very well, and I found them very comfortable. But they also come with um, seven other sets of slightly varying sizes so that if these aren't exactly right for you, and I didn't really try any of the others because these did fit well for me, there are other options. So they they should fit pretty well. Now, because these, again, have a very specific use case, they don't have great low end, which you wouldn't expect from earbuds anyway, I'm going to give them a try. The, The pros are that they fit well, and you have a lot of options for uh, different size ears. Um, the the f- making phone calls on it works really well, and the cable doesn't transmit a bunch of noise if you're like exercising or something, and the cable's moving around. But the if you're li- listening to music, they won't be as satisfying as other earbuds I've tried that do seem to have a better low end. Now, if the if the Beats Executive at three hundred dollars are just too pricey, uh, remind me what the RHA headphones they are run for. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. So yeah. that's a big that's yeah. a big plus too. Well, I mean, unless you're looking for nineteen dollars yeah, headphones. Well, for headphones that work really well as a headset for your phone, uh, I think fifty dollars is pretty good because they sound good. They um, they don't have the full range for music but if you're in a situation where you can't wear headphones or you don't want to wear headphones this is pretty good sound for earbuds very good all right well thank you john we got we got beats and we got rha so sort of, sort of the big end and then the the in in the ear end uh, of the market so thank you very much